Wyoming Pigeon Fanciers. Welcome in to the Lamberton Racing Pigeons podcast. This is episode number two. We were supposed to have episode number two as the trip to Belgium. We're going to add some more content to that episode and do it on a future podcast. Uh, today I'm here to talk about some emails and Facebook messages I've received asking similar questions about the benefit of racing young birds on the Woodahood motivational system. One of the most common concerns fanciers have had is that their pigeons seem to be more motivated to land and trap into their loft after a few minutes of exercise rather than fly around the loft for an extended exercise period, which is one hour twice a day at our loft. This has left some fanciers discouraged and hesitant to continue using the Woodahood system with their young birds because of a lack of exercise in order to prepare them to race home quickly. It is our opinion that the motivation to land and quickly trap is exactly what is required from the young birds. The Woodhood system is meant to help the young birds race home instead of fly home as unmotivated pigeons tend to do. However, this system will require fanciers to teach their young birds to fly for one hour by kicking a ball in the air as many times as it takes to keep their pigeons flying and teaching them to exercise for an hour without stopping to land. My father, Dr. John Lamberton, explained this issue perfectly in a 2009 blog posted on our website at drjohnlamberton.com and repeated in the following paragraph. Quote, Pigeons are not dumb. Pigeons are incredibly smart. Fanciers are dumb when they try to treat pigeons like chickens or like some other inanimate object. Great fanciers who have learned the intricate nuances of coupling or mating have a tremendous advantage over fanciers who think that they can throw any two pigeons together and create a good racing couple. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Do people react the same when dating? Are there women who couple better with one man than another? Are there men who are more attracted to one woman over others? Of course. The very same relational chemistry is true in pigeons. I've often heard that fanciers have tried the Woodhood system and do not have the results of other fanciers who use the Woodhood racing method. It may be because Woodhood is a game that must be practiced and learned in order to play well. Pigeons will race home much faster if they feel extremely passionate about their mates. The greater the passion, the faster the pigeon. Very important. Please understand my following statements if you remember nothing else at all. Speed is predicated upon a racing homer's intelligence and passion more than any other aspect of racing pigeons. More than wing theory, more than back strength, more than eye sign, more than any type of grain or additive to the water, more than any type of racing tonic that anyone formulates. Speed is first and foremost a function of intelligence and passion of a homing pigeon. End quote. This is why we use the Woodahood motivational system. We want our pigeons to be passionate about their mates, passionate about the loft, and passionate about the relationship they have with us as fanciers. That'll do it for episode two of the Lamberton Racing Pigeons podcast. You can find our podcast at drjohnlamberton.com. You can find our blogs there, our videos there as well. Uh, we also have a YouTube page, Lamberton Pigeons. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter at Lamberton Pigeons as well. We'd love to hear from you. Contact us with your questions, and we'll try to answer them here on the podcast. Thank you all very much for listening. We'll see you next time.